Good everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new speed test. For today I have the Xiaomi Redmi 4 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. So starting with the Xiaomi Redmi 4, we have a Snapdragon 625, we have 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage and this phone has a 5 inch screen with a 1080p resolution. The Redmi Note 4 has a Helio X20 processor, has 3 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage and this phone has a 5.5 inch screen with a 1080p resolution. Starting with the Antutu benchmark, the Redmi 4 gets a score of about 62,000 and the Redmi Note 4 gets about 85,000, so a very very big difference here. Moving to the Geekbench 4, here we get a multi-core score of about 3000 for the Redmi 4 and a multi-core score of about 4300 for the Redmi Note 4. For the single core score we get 1536 for the Redmi Note 4 and 843 for the Redmi 4, so again a very big difference here as well. For the next test we are gonna check out the speed for the fingerprint scanner, so I'm gonna try to touch both devices in the same time and then I'm gonna slow down the footage so you can see what happened. So let's try to do this. So let me slow that down for you. And I'm gonna do that one more time just to make sure that I press the scanners in the same time. So let me slow that down for you one more time. So we have the exact same apps installed on both devices, I'm gonna show you that I don't have anything running in the background for either. This one has 1.4 gigs of uh, available RAM and this one has 1.6 gigs of available RAM at this time. So let's go back to that screen and we can start with Asphalt Extreme. And let's see which one starts faster. And I think the Note 4 was a bit faster but let's see which one actually starts, uh, oh so there is like no, uh, no comparison there. So uh, the Note 4 definitely much much faster. So we'll uh, leave this one running in the background. The next one is gonna be FIFA 16. And again the Note 4 was a bit faster for that one. But let's see which one actually starts the game uh, faster. And again the Note 4 uh, was faster. So we'll leave this one uh, running in the background as well. The next one is gonna be Twitter and this one was in the same time actually and that one loaded uh, a bit faster. Both devices are connected to exact same Wi-Fi network. So we'll leave this one in the background. The next one is gonna be Twitter, uh, I mean Instagram. And I think this one loaded just a bit faster but let's uh, go to my account and open a picture here. So we'll leave this one in the background. The next one is gonna be YouTube and this one was much faster uh, in fact and let's just start the same uh, video let's go here for example and let's just start this uh, video right here and it did start in about the same time I think maybe this one is a bit uh, faster so we'll leave that in the background the next one is gonna be Chrome and I have a website opened uh, there. I'm just gonna open the exact same article on both. So, I think this one was a bit faster, but just a tiny bit. So leave that one in the background. The next one is gonna be Google Play Music. And that one seemed in the exact same time, but this one uh, actually loaded a bit sooner. So leave that uh, in the background. The next one is gonna be Google Photos. And I think this one was just a bit faster. So we'll uh, give this a second. So we'll uh, leave them in the background. The next one is gonna be the camera launch. So I'm just gonna turn off the screens for both of them. And I'm gonna double click uh, on the volume down. And I think this one was a bit faster, but let me try that one more time. Nothing happened this time. Let's do that one more time. So I think this one was uh, faster uh, once again. So that's it uh, for the camera test. To we'll leave this one running in the background. We'll unlock both of them. And the next uh, one is gonna be the Google Play Store. So let's uh, open that one. 
And I think the note for was a bit faster for that one. The next one is gonna be Temple Run. So they're kind of in the same time. But this one seems to load uh, much faster than the Note 4. So we'll give them a second to actually start up. We'll leave these ones uh, running in the background as well. And the next one is gonna be the GPS test. So we'll see which one uh, connects the satellite sooner. So the app did open about the same time. And that one connected uh, much faster than uh, the Note 4. So we'll leave this one in the background as well. And the next one is gonna be the speed test app. And they're both connect the same network. So we'll do the test on this one first. So that's the download speed that we got for that one. And now let's do the test on this one. See um, if we get a different score. Wow, and this one is just like insanely fast. Oh my God, that's like the biggest difference I've ever seen. So um, yeah, definitely this one is much, much faster on that five gigahertz um, Wi-Fi network. Wow, that's just unbelievable. The, the difference in between them. So um, that's... Uh, how the apps open on both devices. So now we'll leave these uh, running in the background and let's check out and see what happened with those apps running in the background for both. So let's scroll all the way to the end and let's try um, Asphalt Extreme. And they both had to reload the, that game, unfortunately. So we'll just give them a second uh, to load that game and we'll continue and see what other apps are uh, actually still running in the background there. So let's move back to multitasking. So we should do this now. And let's try FIFA 16. So again, they both had to reload uh, that game. So uh, let's just uh, leave that in the background. The next one is gonna be Twitter. And this one still had the uh, Twitter running in the background uh, from the looks of it. The next one is Instagram on both. And this one again had that uh, still running in the background. The next one it's YouTube and again this one it's uh, doing much much better for uh, multitasking and I do have the exact same settings set on both devices so let's uh, continue to see what happens with the other apps so let's see what happens with Chrome so they both kind of had to reload that and uh, we only have a couple uh, left so let's see with the Google Play Music. And this one was actually sitting in the background for both devices. And this one was Google Photos. And again, that one uh, still had it running in the background. The camera will skip, will go um, right to Google Play. And that one was uh, running in the background for both. And let's see what happened with Temple Run. And I guess this one had to reload, but uh, it was still running in the background for that one. So uh, this is how the speed test went. So for some apps, this one uh, was a bit faster, but not by much. But the good thing about this one is the fact that it keeps the apps running in the background uh, longer than that one. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that uh, like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.